Six Flags Over Georgia. It's like nobody's here. You sure they're open? Yeah. Eleven to eight. Alright. Need to drop off. Need to drop off. Need to drop that is this is Goliath is orange. Yeah. Is that big thing Goliath? Yes. Look at this entrance. We are in Six Flags Over Georgia. I think we're gonna go on Daredevil Dive first, cause that thing supposedly has terrible capacity. So Georgia Scorcher, that's our first ride of the day, and it could and it probably is a mistake. Oh yeah, there goes Goliath. I grayed out. <laughs> My brother grayed out. Anyways, we are heading to we are heading under the bridge, going to Daredevil Dive, because I've heard that is a capacity nightmare. Daredevil Dive is down. Hopefully. Just for now and not late and not permanently. So, Goliath! Time for Goliath. This looks super fun. We saw it going earlier. It looks crazy. Road Goliath at Six Flags over Georgia. It looks pretty good. Yes. I like the drop. I like the airtime hills. And what I really liked was every time I could go down, I just lift my feet up because there's no light. <laughs> and then yeah. I felt like I was pretty fall. <clears throat> That's our first BNM Hyper. And it's better than Golly at the Magic Mountain. Uh, yes, obviously. Oh, it's also raining. It's like barely. Barely any rain. Yeah. But there might be more rain. There's later. a drop Stand tower here. Uh huh. Oh, there it goes. That is probably one of the most pure fun rides I've ever been on. The airtime is there. It exists. Yes. Oh, man. Goal is photos. Photos? That's Wait, crazy. They, said, they took photos? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> at, the, at the very end, which is surprising. Oh, okay. There it is. Daredevil Dive. We saw it running when we were on the lift hill for yeah, Goliath. Yes, beyond vertical drop. I can put my hand and yes, we are going on that now. Yep. Hopefully, it doesn't have a long line already because we didn't rope drop it like everyone, all the other doozies do. Early await. This is perfect. But on Daredevil Dive, that was like kind of okay. It wasn't anything special. I don't think I'm gonna ride it again. It was fine, I guess. There's nothing special about it. It was just a ride, honestly. We already rode hang time. Yeah, we've ridden hang time at Knott's Berry Farm. This is really similar. I do think I like hang time more though, honestly. Visual scan. Visual scan complete. It just get clear. Next get clear. All tickets are clear. Are clear. That's crazy. I like this area of the park, honestly. It's all wooded and everything. Um, this place doesn't look interesting. I'm gonna go this way. I wonder what's down this way. I actually don't know. I've never been to this park. This is my first time, so. Really interesting. It's like a Superman mini drop tower, I guess. I don't know. Boy, I see roller coaster. <laughs> nah, it's probably a log flume. I'll go down that area later. I'll check out what's here first. Okay. So as I keep walking down here, I find a Joker Funhouse Coaster. I'm gonna save this for later. I think I wanna ride some bigger rides first. I've heard this ride is really good. Really good? It's, a, it's not a roller coaster, it's a, it's, a dark, it's a dark ride. Honestly, I'm not big on theming, so I'm gonna skip it. <laughs> and it's gonna keep continuing down this path. What is that? I think that's the mine train. Looks interesting. Yeah, mine train, like Gold Rusher at Magic Mountain. Interesting. The Lonaga mine train looks interesting. We are gonna ride it later because, bam, Twisted Cyclone. Yeah, we're going on that. There it is. What a beauty. Wow. And it's open, so we're gonna ride it. It's Road Twisted, Col uh, Twisted Cyclone, not Twisted Colossus. Twisted Cyclone. It was. It was pretty good, like, it wasn't interesting, like, it was just an RMC, like, I've ridden RMCs. 
Especially, um, you know, Airy Force. I wrote that earlier. You can see that video on my channel later. This is definitely worse. Like, that was pretty obvious, but like... Yeah, we wrote it twice in the back. It was nothing interesting, but it was good. Look at that. They have supports up for Georgia Surfer. That's right. I guess I'm just not caught up in the coastal community. But I didn't know this was already going vertical. They said it was opening this, this summer. I mean, right now it is summer and uh, yeah, they're doing great. Totally doing great. No delays whatsoever. Really excited to see this get built taller. Interesting. Looks like there's some workers down there doing some stuff. Wow. We have the first few supports over here. They ha probably also have all the supports down there filled in. But I can't see it because of this angle. Seems like they're working right now on something. I don't know what it could be. We are going to ride some more roller coasters down this way. That's Superman right there. That down there, that's Blue Hawk. I forgot that ride existed. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh yeah, we're gonna ride Superman. Look at that. I thought that was an actual person for a second. <laughs> I got very awkward. That's crazy. You can kind of see Great American Scream Machine back there. We're gonna ride that too. If it's open, hopefully. And on Superman. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Tatsu. But like Less. small. And also it pulls more G's than Tatsu. There's no Honest like outer bank. Not outer bank. It just turns. Yeah. Honestly, that was pretty fun. I, it felt faster than I would have thought. And the pretzel loop was still really intense. It's the first thing. You just go down the drop and do the pretzel loop. Yeah, you know, that's crazy. Going on Great America Stream Machine. There it is. Perfect timing. Yeah, there it goes. And also, Blue Hawk's right next to it. Oh, it went down. It's going down. That's crazy. Um. It's old. What do you expect? Like, seriously. Oh, yeah, and there goes Blue Hawk. That's crazy. Yeah. For a great American stream machine in the back. That was actually really fun. The roughness did not bother me at all. It was probably not, it wasn't even that rough for a wooden ghoster, honestly. If not, I gave it character. Also, all the airtime hills on this ride, they give pretty good airtime, or most of them at least. Yeah, I think that's definitely a solid wooden coaster. I'm gonna definitely ride it again later in the day. That's fun. Okay, I just went on Blue Hawk. I don't really have much to say about it. It's kind of just, a mid janky ride it, it wasn't painful but it wasn't anything special too kind of like twisted cyclone <laughs> there it goes it was pretty forceful on the on whatever i think it's a butterfly or something i don't know what that those first two inversions are called but it was pretty fun i don't think i'm gonna ride it again today because i have priorities such as goliath that's crazy. Back here again. <sighs> I am on a trip to try to find Riddler Mindbender and Batman the Ride. <laughs> I think I need to check the park map. 
But Goliath looks amazing here. I saw Daredevil dive going. Harley Quinn, Wild World, Batman the Ride, Riddler Mindbender, I found it, let's go. After checking the map, I officially know where to go now, to Gotham City. Oh, I just remembered, Kid Flash exists. That's two new credits. I'm gonna go on this first. <laughs> Dang it, this ride is a line. I don't like waiting in lines. Did you know that? I'm gonna wait in the line later. I'm gonna go on Riddler Mindbender first and probably come back to it. I know the line's not gonna get any longer or any shorter, so. Yeah, I'll wait it out later. I'm kinda hyped for this ride. Hopefully, I don't get completely stopped by the mid-course brake run. I've heard horror stories of that. <laughs> Very accurate Six Flags. Yeah, I know, it's from this point, whatever. And that's Riddler Mindbender. It was kind of like Blue Hawk and kind of like the other rides. It was, it was pretty fine. It was like mid. That doesn't mean it's bad, by the way, just because it's mid. It just wasn't special. Yeah. It's a really, really good supporting. Anyways, it's a really good supporting cast ride. So, and it's also a classic. That turn, that turn. The valley of it is like pretty rough. I'm just pointing that out. It doesn't bother me. I'm just saying that it's rough. Yeah. Overall, pretty good ride. I haven't seen the Kid Flash Cosmic Coaster running, even though there's people waiting in line for it. So I'm just gonna wait in line and see if it dispatches. And if it does, I'll keep waiting. Oh! Wow. Would you look at that? There it goes. But I guess they're just doing one side. I don't know if the other side's going. I mean, there's people in line, so I guess I'll wait. I don't know if they're running the yellow side. This is probably one of the coolest looking roller coasters I've seen, though. Like the track with like the projection on it, or not projection, like with the LEDs on it. Looks really cool. I like the color scheme, too. And honestly, the line's not that long. I was kind of over-exaggerating. I'm just very spoiled by all the no weights I've had for every single ride, so. <laughs> there we go, now they're dueling. As I'm under the roof, the rain starts. Whew. That's crazy. It's probably because of the drive tires. They can't operate with wetness. Oh wait, we have time. It's raining. Honestly, this isn't much too much of a downside. Like it's like really raining. <laughs> Honestly, I don't care. The more the rain, the more the crowds go away. So I'm fine with rain because I don't mind it. So yeah, the thing is, hopefully um, my camera doesn't get destroyed by the rain. I'm recording with my phone right now, but I usually use my camera to record stuff like, like take off-ride pictures. And my GoPro is gonna be fine. 
like just fine because GoPros are waterproof, but I don't know. Batman it is. I'll get on Kitch Flash later. I don't know if you can see the rain, but like it's really visible here. Honestly, I'm fine with this as long as it scares away the guests. So the shorter lines. I'm fine with this. My phone probably isn't. We're good, as long as the ride isn't closed. Oh, do we go this way? Okay. Guys, get Batman out of prison. He's stuck in his cage. Get him out. Oh well. Batman's also down. That's crazy. I almost, I almost got on it. I was really close. Whew. Decided to abandon Batman. Because it's just not opening up. <laughs> Due to inclement weather in the area, we must temporarily suspend operation of Batman the Rock. Wait, what? It's sunny outside. I'm so confused. There isn't even any inclement weather. Oh my gosh. I've ridden Batman the Ride at Six Lights Magic Mountain in the rain. I don't know why they allowed this ride to not run in the rain. And there isn't even rain. Like, it's not raining anymore. Like, hello? <laughs> I didn't even realize until I was outside. Outside. Because, like, in the station, you can't really see outdoors. It's like, there's no inclement weather. I hope all of the other rides are not like this because I want to go on Goliath again if nothing else here is open. And honestly, if I miss out on Batman the Ride, that's completely fine because I already have one at Six Flags Magic Mountain. All right, am I hallucinating right now? Dude is holding an umbrella. This is not even raining. I'm so confused. Are they like waiting for the track to dry up or something or the water to evaporate? Huh. Seems pretty hot outside. It would happen pretty quickly in my in my humble opinion, but the park probably knows better, so. Goliath is also closed. Kind of expected because Batman was also closed. And Batman's like two times shorter than this ride. Man, I really just hope this isn't a theme of today. Because honestly, there is no inclement weather right now. There was like 10 minutes of rain and that's it. Like, hello? Maybe even five minutes of rain. Like, what is going on? Is anyone in this break run? They probably evac them or something if it was taking too long. Yeah. Doesn't look like there's anybody there. Oh, the rides finally opened and I got on Goliath, as you saw in the POV that I got with my GoPro. Whew, that actually took a while. I was sitting in the station for maybe about like 20 minutes, maybe even more. It took way longer than I thought, but it was worth it because Goliath is amazing. That's crazy. I think I'm gonna head over and get my rides on Kid Flash and Batman since now they're open. That'll be fun. Kid flash time. Let's go. I finally get to ride this. Hopefully no thunder this time. Red or yellow side? That's the question. I personally think they're equal. I know, it's the answer you didn't hope for, but I think they're both just as good as each other. But there are downsides and upsides for each of the sides, I guess. <laughs> the red side has a bigger drop and the yellow side is two smaller drops. That's one of them. Um, what else? 
the red side has a double down which throws you a little bit and that's pretty fun while the yellow side has two twisted hills the second one right there isn't as good but the first one is really good for a kiddie coaster that is don't expect like ejector airtime on it anyways batman Road Batman. I don't know what to think about it. It's like very different from the one at Six Flags Magic Mountain. The one at Six Flags Magic Mountain is much smoother. Like the one at Six Flags Over Georgia is pretty shaky, not gonna lie. Going down the first drop, I hit my right ear so hard it hurt. But like I try to ignore those things. And when you look at just the layout and how fast it's going, that's definitely faster than Six Flags Magic Mountain. Like definitely. Like, I don't know what they did to that ride, but it's crazy. Huh. But since it is a bit shakier, I do probably rank it around the same as Six Flags Magic Mountains. Yeah. I actually think I, I don't even know which one I like more. Yeah, I can't decide. <laughs> For now, I'll say Six Flags Magic Mountain, but that could easily change. out of Gotham City I'm probably gonna go to Goliath again then Twisted Cyclone then maybe go back to the area where Superman is and ride those rides again Just got finished with one ride in the front and one ride in the back on Goliath. Or second in the back. That ride is so fun. Like seriously. I think that's better than Gold Striker, honestly. Better than Gold Striker. Is it better than Twisted Colossus? Probably yeah, honestly. This ride is amazing. Yo, 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 wait, 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 wait. I gotta get this shot. <laughs> that's crazy. Okay, I think I'm gonna head over to Twisted Cyclone. And then after Twisted Cyclone, I'll go to, I think the Dahlonega Mine Train, that's like the last credit I need today. So I'll go to the, Del the Dahlonega Mine Train first, this way. So, yeah. And then I'll go all the way around to Twisted Cyclone, all the way down there. Great. Now, let's see what's going on here. Some more machinery and stuff. They're still working, which is surprising. Wonder what all this dirt's for. I don't know too much about roller coaster construction and what they're doing right now. It's pretty interesting though. So what's really cool is that since they're constructing the Georgia Surfer ride, 
they're gonna have to take out some of the railroad or like close the railroad to oh, to like come like get space to like build the other spike and now i'm thinking about it this spike is gonna look so cool or these spikes up here just like all the way up there and there's a there's a spike probably be something like top throw too except shorter there's my baby great american scream machine i actually really like this ride it's kind of funny <laughs> I forgot how you enter this ride. Ah, yes, right here. Good. Oh, Ace Coaster Landmark. You guys can pause and read this. Nice. Front row ride on Great American Scream Machine. Oh, whoa. Look at that. <laughs> that ride is super fun. It's a classic. I like how all the hills are not perfect. So, like, when it goes up and, like, turn, when it, like, goes down again, it kind of straightens out and then goes down more. It's so funny. You can't really notice it if you're watching, like, a POV, I think. But you feel it when you're riding it. And as you can see, I'm in the queue for Superman now. Gonna ride this, hopefully get a POV. That would be great. Okay, I swear I'm actually gonna go on the mine train now. As you just saw, I went on, what was it? Uh, Great American Scream Machine. And then I went on Superman after that. With the second, no, it was like a middle road POV. It wasn't the best row, but it was still fun, you know? There goes the mine train, the long ago mine train. I am for sure going to ride that next. I totally will not make any exceptions. And the theme of today is that there are no lines whatsoever. Nice. Off the Lanaga mine train. That is a really good mine train, actually. It gives pretty good flow on most of the hills. And the jankiness is like really fun. It's like fun jank kind of type thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just a cyclone. I'm not done talking about the Lanaga mine train, though. That last drop combined with like the twist inside the tunnel the jankiness inside the tunnel and the jankiness in all of the ride it's just like it gives it a lot of character which i really like okay now i'm done i'm gonna ride twisted i'm gonna ride twisted cyclone now fun fact i have been running off of one cup of frosted flakes for breakfast i have not eaten a single thing beyond that and honestly it doesn't feel too bad Look at this place. Look how cool this is. I don't think this is better. This looks better than Six Flags Magic Mountain, definitely. Like, 
the atmosphere is so much better than Six Flags Magic Mountains. But at Six Flags Magic Mountain, I'd say the rides the rides are better. There's Twisted Cyclone. And there's Goliath. Goliath is the best right here, no doubt about it. Twisted Cyclone is not even a close second. This thing's like, I'd say it's worse than Railblazer, worse than Batman at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. That doesn't mean it's bad, it's still a really great ride. But it's not crazy good, like everyone says it is. I think it warmed up, that's crazy. Okay. I just got off Twisted Cyclone once in the back and once in the front. I first rode it in the front and that was one of, the, and that was literally so good. Like that was one of the best, that was the best ride I've gotten on this, on Twisted Cyclone today. Like that was insane. Like, hello? So I'm like, oh, maybe the ride warmed up. So I rode it in the back and it felt like my first few rides, like what? Like, when is the RMC Hybrid better in the front than in the back? Like, objectively. Like, in the front, the airtime was stronger, and you can feel it. Like, I'm so confused. I'm gonna ride it once in the front again, just to make sure I wasn't hallucinating. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I just rode Twisted Cyclone in the front twice. And that is definitely better in the front than in the back. In the back, it was like ejector, but it wasn't strong ejector. In the front, it was aggressive. It was like aggressive ejector. Every single hill, the wave turn, that one's crazy. A lot of people say it is. Um, the reverse Cobra roll is kind of okay. It's not crazy or anything. I feel like they could have done something better with that part of the ride. But for now, I'm gonna head this way and ride Georgia Scorcher again. Because I've only ridden that once. And it's definitely better than Blue Hawk. <laughs> off Georgia Scorcher twice once in the back and once in the front and the back is better whoa what a surprise yeah I just think the whip from all the transit from all the transitions is better in the back yeah up next once again there it is golly is <laughs> yeah if you go to Twisted Cyclones um, Q or Twisted Cyclone Station, and you look at Goliath or Goliath's like airtime hills, they are so gigantic and they look so huge. It's so crazy. Hey, I rode Goliath three more times, and one of them, the ride ops, didn't staple me as much, so I actually got airtime room, and that was probably my best ride on it. And we went back to uh, Twisted Cyclone to get one more ride in the front row because it's, it's better in the front row. Here it is, Twisted Cyclone. Yeah. Anyways, we're leaving now. I Literally, there was nobody here today. Like, I never waited in a line this whole entire day. Except for the time Goliath broke down, but that's not because there was a long line. <laughs> I guess that's actually crazy. Yeah, there goes Goliath. 
Whew. It was a fun day. And the next park we will go to is Carowinds in North Carolina. So stay posted for that. Or don't. Yeah. Okay, bye. There goes Goliath. I think that's the only way to Um. That's cool. Explore vacation packages with their